My name is Samuel Wheelock and today uh, we are holding a, a peaceful protest, a peaceful and dignified protest in aid of uh, getting a full independent public inquiry into the suspicious circumstances surrounding my brother's death. What do we want? Justice! What do we want? Yeah. Now for the last 16 years we have been fighting for, independ uh, fighting for an independent public inquiry and today is another year that we have to keep this battle on. And I hope that today we'll send a message to Taoiseach Michael Martin, to Tanish de Leo Varadkar and the Minister for Justice, uh, Heather Humphreys. So I ask you once again to please grant us that so that we, want, uh, as a family, come on day, maybe move on and... What do we want? Justice! What do we want? No! Yeah. We're gathered here today uh, on the 16th anniversary of uh, the death of Terence Wheelock. What do we want? Justice! The family for 16 years have been fighting for answers and for justice for uh, for Terence. Uh, there's still a lot of unexplained questions about what happened on the day that Terence was arrested. Uh, famously, he left his house to buy a paintbrush. Uh, he was arrested, um, and the official story just doesn't make sense. Of and really what the family are looking for is a transparent and independent process to get to the bottom of those questions. Something that GSOC, uh, as a I guess, state body, hasn't been able to offer them, hasn't been able to satisfy. Of course, this isn't the first time that GSOC has failed people. Plenty of other cases too. We look at uh, Derek Quigley, John Maloney, a young man who uh, died shortly after he left Garda custody in 2003. Um, George and Kencho last year, another good example. Um, I guess what we need is a fully independent body, independent of the police, uh, probably citizen-led, uh, that looks into these uh, cases. Yeah.